Massage muscle therapy, heavy foot racing, and jet transportation. Bring us Joe Stowe, Windsor, Connecticut's Joe Stokinis. Outside of him, A01 OIC, Rainville Plumbing, Jason Snide Plumbing, A1, Vadnais and Sanford Plumbing, and Rainville Logging for Lisbon, Connecticut's Louis Belisle in the number 50. On the inside of row number two, driving the 01 from Westbrook, Connecticut, Bill Seafood, Finkel Day Incorporated, and Pier 76 Marina present Nate Appel. Next to him, driving the number two out of Taftville, Connecticut, it will be Jeff Soup Savardi. On the inside of row number three, driving the 91, that will be Niantic, Connecticut's Chris Williams. Please welcome the number 34, who will be in the sixth starting spot. That is the TPI Electrical East of the Sun construction entry for Norwich, Connecticut's Ben Bargnesi. On the inside of row number four, driving the 18, that will be Deep River Danny Field, Jeff Berman, Roger Allison, Larry's Auto Machine, and Haynes Custom Cycle bring us the number 18. Next up on the field will be the number 11, the points leader. It is the number 11 for Ken Cassidy Jr. of Lisbon, Connecticut. The way with the Norwich Bulletin and Mini Stock main event. Joe Stokinis and Louis Belisle will bring him down. Green in the air from Jimmy Warner. And we have a drag race in turn number one. It is Stokinis and Belisle as they charge through turn number one. But getting the jump on the outside is the 50 of Belisle. Here comes Nate Appel to the inside of Soup Savardi. He has the third spot. Chris Williams looks to get underneath the two of Savardi. But tied together at the front of the field is the 81 of Stokinis and the, 51 of, the 50 of Belisle. Third, we have Nate Appel battled behind him, the 91 of Chris Williams, as Danny Field looks to make a charge through the pack. With On the outside of Soup Savardi, Ben Bargnesi also involved, but grabbing the lead now is the 50 of Louis Bilal as he inches that machine out in front of Stokinis, but Stokinis is able to tie it back up as they charge down the backstretch. In third, we have Nate Appel behind them. As Stokinis gets in trouble, now Bilal slides to the infile. But further on behind him, Papakota and Chuck Rogers get involved in a little action. And will look to stay under green flag as they all are able to pull away. At the front of the field, it is Joe Stokinis leading the way. Chris Williams now to the inside of Nate Appel. John Dimatini is aboard car number 94. As he's not only a sponsor, he's also a player. And we have a heated battle for second as Nate Appel looming on the outside of the 91 of Chris Williams. So Appel will lose a position as Williams, by about a paint chip, moves into second. Then it is Soup Savardi. you got to give Soup a lot of credit. He had knee problems during home run derby tonight, but he was able to climb into the car. And he is holding his own against Ben Barnesi in the battle for fourth and fifth. Barnese gets a jackrabbit jump on that occasion. Also there is Danny Churchill. And moving in, the newest member of the Half Century Club, Danny Field, has pulled even with Randy Churchill. Now he attacks Savardi. Stosinas in car number 91, trying to hold off Chris Williams. Williams has some bounce on the outside. Here comes Stosinas, and he is able to protect his turf against the 91 of Williams. Williams is gonna try it on the outside. He goes into the suburbs. Little shuffle deep in the pack. Churchill twitches. Little caffeine twitch for the 05, but he is able to gather it back. And now a car winds up in the grass in RFD country in turn number one. We'll see if he can get it moving again or will we go under gold? And it doesn't look good and it looks like the race is on hold. Out comes the gold, He's looking for his second career victory. A recent dad about a month ago, but it's Danny Field who gets the upper hand. As Field looked like he was fired from Cape Canaveral. Moving out in front, looking for his first win of the year, the two-time mini stock champion. But there is congestion behind him. Ben Barnesi in car number 34 is trying to jackknife his way underneath Ken Cassidy. So we have the fast guys making their nightly statements. Field in front, Ken Cassidy Jr. trying to put pressure on the outside of Chris Williams. Here comes Cassidy as a thunderball their way into the fourth turn. Cassidy is pulled even. Now he is pulled ahead. Phil Evans trying to do it. 
And Dave Sylvia, even though Dave Sylvia no longer races on a weekly basis, he says he's been here so long, he and his family know exactly what to do to get that car to run fast. In his first two trips to the bowl, he has gone from the 12th starting position into a podium run. He is trying to do the same tonight as the 83 of Lee winds up in the wilderness. He fires it back up and gets it back out onto the speedway. Williams is in free fall. Right now, Evans has gotten by him in car number 53. So has Sylvia in car number 88. And the man at the top of the leaderboard is Danny Field, the wild man trying to tame a very nasty contingent of race drivers. Two very fast guys are in pursuit. Ken Cassidy Jr. and Phil Evans. Also there is the 88 of Sylvia. Once again, it's a who's who of the mini stock division. Danny Field will have his hands full as he darts his way off the fourth corner. Cassidy, you know he's going to be a player in just about a lap or two. So here comes a youngster, our point leader, car number 11. Thought about moving into the late model ranks this year. Decided right now, at this time in his career, the mini stocks is a division he can afford and he can be very good at. He continues to whittle away at the advantage of Danny Field. Great duel for third between Evans and Sylvia. Then it's Williams in fifth. Trouble on the uh, front straightaway for Nick Papakota. He will be able to launch that one back out out of the speedway. The plot thickens down to the final four laps. Yellow out as Papakota, obviously, we thought he would be. Field, Cassidy, who will get the upper hand. Field has the giddy up. So like a missile, Field has galloped into the lead. But here comes Cassidy, bid, outside. Phil Evans has moved into third or fourth, right behind Sylvia. So a great restart for Dave Sylvia as he has moved into third. The plot thickens in the duel for the lead. Field has it, but almost glued to his back bumper like a trailer hitch is the 11 of Ken Cassidy Jr. Also in the neighborhood is Dave Sylvia. They strut across the stripe. Three laps to go. What will Cassidy do? Will he take him on the outside or will he look for room underneath Field? Cassidy knows time is running out. It is time for him to make a move, but he also has to be concerned with Dave Sylvia behind him. Down to the final two. The clock ticking away as Danny Field leads him into turn one with two laps left. Cassie looks to mount a charge, but he has to hold off the charge of Dave Sylvia as they go down the back stretch. Field looks to inch his way away as they come off turn four. Now Sylvia puts the pressure on Cassidy. Battle for the second spot. One lap left. Sylvia to the outside of Ken Cassidy. He'll try to go the long way around the 11 as they go off turn two. Danny Field leads him into turn number three. Battle for second between Cassidy and Sylvia. Down to the stripe, it's Danny Field. Race on for second. By inches it is Ken Cassidy. And then we have Dave Sylvia coming home third. In so the birthday cake is gonna taste a little bit better tonight thanks to another dazzling performance by a man they call the Wild Man, Danny Field. Now, Danny, we got a note that said your age on it, and I don't know if I believe it. Why don't you tell the fans, how old are you? Uh, tonight, 21. 21. Well, you had to hold off a 21-year-old guy behind you, Ken Cassidy Jr. How did you pull it off? Uh, this car was really running good today. Uh, it was really fast. Kenny's a good, clean driver. Uh, the car is awesome, quick on the restarts, and I just held it on the bottom, and it just stayed there, and it was a good run. And, of course, a lot of people behind the victory. Oh, yeah. I want to thank uh, Hayes Custom Cycles, uh, Chester Bottle Shop, Deeper Repeats, uh, Madison Auto Body, Cliff, uh, all my crew, Rick, Rick Hansen, uh, Short, Short TV, uh, Deeper Hardware, Kristen's, and St. Pierre Builders. And Danny, I think you have done something that has never been done at the Speed Bowl before. You win a trophy and an AARP card on the same night. Ladies and gentlemen, Danny Field.